Today we're doing Lolo's Baked Beans 239. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're doing another one of Lolo's fabulous recipes, Baked Beans 239. We'll get to the 239 shortly. So um, Lorraine's done um, a lot of work on these baked beans and over the years and she really has put together, I think, a really, really good recipe that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. So. With that said, Lorraine, come do the good work. Uh -huh. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us again. Um, if you've ever done baked beans, you will know that it's time consuming because you have to soak them, you have to rinse them, you have to soak them again. It's really a laborious task to do. So this is a hack, because I said I'm all about delicious in under 30 minutes. This is gonna be really quick. So today we're gonna do the baked beans. I'm gonna do a half recipe. With this, you can put it in the oven after at 350 for about 30 minutes, or you can serve it right away. The flavor's there, and it's as good as when you take two days to get it ready. So here we go. To start with, because we like to have wine, or at least I think it's a good idea when we're cooking, we decided that what we're going to do is do a pairing every time we're cooking something with a local winery from the island here. So today, we're going to go with Damasco, which is a slightly effervescent white wine, it's a lovely balance, it's not too sweet, it's not too dry, and it's from, as I say, from Zanata Winery here on Vancouver Island. So I think the cameraman looks really thirsty, so I think as I will always. pour us each one. And it'll be interesting every, every week or whatever we do this, just to try different wines that are local. There you go, Tony. Thank you. Okay. I would have just been happy with the bottle and the straw, but <laughs> I know, being polite. Yes, learn to share. Okay, let's hmm. see if we have luck turning this on. We do. This is good. <laughs> okay, in this, as you know, it's induction. We've been through that. We've been through, if you watched last time, about why double smoked bacon is the choice. Um, so in this small pot, I just, I have a little bit, maybe a tablespoon of grease from the double bacon. So what I'm going to do is throw in a diced half a yellow onion and just let that soften for a few minutes. And it's instant heat. Love it. I won't make you wait five minutes, so we'll just go to the next step. Three slices of double smoked bacon, partially cooked, ready to go. And already the aroma is wonderful. Anytime you've got onions and bacon. All we're Jeez, that smells good already. <laughs> I know, it really Just does. the bacon and onions. That's Can we just stop there and have that? That's great. <laughs> that would be easy. What goes with bacon and the onions? Oh, liver. I don't think you'd like that so much. If it smelled like that, I might eat it. Ooh, okay. So that's gonna cook down. Give it five, if you're cooking. So then, we're going to add the sauce, and I'll show you. For a half recipe, we're using a quarter cup of barbecue sauce. This is the Zoom. one that I chose. Zoom. Okay. Camera work sucks, but then I build cabinets for a living, so bear with me. There we go. Quarter cup of the barbecue sauce, quarter cup of brown sugar. Then, from that, we're also using about two tablespoons of ketchup, a tablespoon of mustard, you can use the bold mustard. I use honey Dijon. It's whatever you like. So I'll mix it up and I'll throw it into the mix. So now, as far as a, a ratio goes, you're, you're this the amount you just gave her for how? Like it's for a half. Half a what? A half half a recipe. Half a recipe. So depending. Or based on what I can see open, uh, based on two cans of beans. Yes, okay. based on two cans of beans. Full recipe calls for four. But you only have this as a side, so it's nice barbecued pork. So this is a really nice side to have with it. Yeah, love it now, ate it later. <laughs> so everything's just coming together really well. And it smells great, it looks great. Now, this is really quick. Two cans of bush beans, this is my choice. Have whatever kind you like. You might want the molasses, all different kinds. 
Just throw this in. Uh, again, pay, uh, apologies for the camera work, but this is not my day job. Two cans. So that's the 239. Because if you had one more bean in those cans, it'd be too farty. <laughs> <laughs> that's really cute. Thanks for that. I get okay. my moments. I remember <laughs> right. them well. I think oh, it was a Thursday. Okay, so stirring it up. I know you can't see this at the moment, but basically that's You could all if I took the doing. camera off the thingy, but... Then a couple of dashes of liquid smoke. Just to give it a little bit of that smoky flavor that looks is so good with molasses. Or with molasses, with beans. <laughs> and um, so that, that's basically it. You can have it now. You can bake it. Whatever you like to do, it's easy. And... It is even better, even tastier than the full recipe of the soaking baked beans going by that. A lot of people have hacks. I'm sure there's a lot of great hacks out there. This just happens to be mine and we think it's really good. So please try it and enjoy and um, that's all I got. Excellent, well done. And this is what, under five minutes. Oh. It really is that good, that fast, that easy. Yep. Wait till you try and the ultimate And if you do it well, you get to have a glass of wine at the same time. You can. Yep. More to come. So please join us again. So I've let this simmer about five minutes. I did a taste test. I was a little bit disappointed. It was lacking a bit of tang. I put a tablespoon of this classic French's yellow mustard. You can use any kind of yellow mustard. It just got us there. So it's good. It's ready. And we can taste now. Yeah, I will, hey. I will give it a taste. Would you like to do the honors? Oh, none for me. And you know, this summer when you're barbecuing... Seriously, a little tiny spoon with two beans on it. That's all you need to taste it. Okay. <laughs> it's great. You know, mm, wow, friends and family potato salad. Some pork chops on the barbecue, pork steaks, whatever. Mm, Hot dogs. Very tasty. Yeah. And only 2 minutes, 39 seconds. It did not take Hence, long. Hence, beans 239. Didn't Not for the other reason. At all. Um, so now, when you first cooked this for me, uh, years ago, when you said you were going to do baked beans, you really did baked beans. It took you like four days to make it. How did you get from taking four days down to two minutes and 39 seconds? Well, I think my eyes were opened when I met your Uncle Jerry. Oh, Brother Jerry. Uh, uh, brother Jerry, because he's so close oh, to family, he's like a brother, not, not because he's kids. part of the church or any of that stuff. So, yes, yeah, oh, that's right, yes, because he does an incredible bean recipe as well. He does uh, a really good hack, but he taught us a lot of things. I mean, same with potato salad, how you can get Costco potato salad instead of starting from scratch. You can zhuzh it up, you can use dill, you can add extra boiled eggs, you can make it fabulous. And same thing. Yeah. It's all about quick and easy if yeah. you're feeding a crowd. You don't want to be spending all the time in the kitchen getting prepared and then you're tired. Yeah. And you don't Uncle feel Jerry did so teach us a lot. He took that bean recipe from four days to two minutes and thirty yeah. seconds. And it's not this recipe. He has his no, own No, he has version, his own recipe, which is he's credible on his own right. And if I well. could ever ever talk him into showing up and doing a video of him doing he his, really that would should. be fantastic. He has so many hacks. The guy can cook. He is amazing in the kitchen. And, well, you uh, both, you do smoked brisket, you, you do all kinds of wonderful things. I do, but I find it very hard to roll. Anyways, that's for another episode. But um, again, Lorraine, thank you so much for sharing us a wonderful, one of my favorite get-tos, go-tos, get-tos, go-tos. It's a thing that I like to have. Um, don't drink too much wine when you're cooking in the kitchen, because you end up like this. <laughs> Do you want me to take over the ending? Mm. <laughs> I'm sure you've no, got this. No, it's you've all good. Uh, anyways, it's really simple. It's actually very, very tasty. Uh, it takes elevated beans from out of the can and just does a number on them. Not like my mom did by throwing an egg in it. That's it's another beautiful. story for another day. No idea. It must be Scottish. <laughs> it's immigrant cooking. Yeah. Anyways, again, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you did like this, please go ahead and hit the hit the like and subscribe buttons. Um, we do really appreciate all the support we're getting. And we do we do like bringing this stuff out. <laughs> okay, next time, Tony doesn't get wine before we do the shoot. Next time, chocolate milk. Have a great evening. Thanks for watching. <laughs>